In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize the stories in the newscast that are generated by the AI. How it works is that you have a source like I've created here. Uh, and this source pulls in news articles from this RSS feed here in this case. And as you can see here in the articles tab, these are the articles that are imported from this source. Uh, when creating a newscast that uses this source, these articles are going to be rewritten based on the content model that you've selected here. Um, most of the time, the default content model as selected here, the news model, this is the default content model, is perfectly fine, more than fine. It creates a story of around four sentences and 70 words in a pretty standard tone of voice. And like I said, in most of the cases, it's perfectly fine. I can show you quickly how it will look like in this case. You can go to this test your settings a page, which is like a little bit hidden, but you can find it here. And um, you can select a model here to test how the output will look like. In this case, by default, the news model is selected because that's the news, uh, the model that is attached to this source. And I'm going to select a source article here to test. And this is really like a dry run because it's not saved anywhere or something. And the way AI works is that every generation is like a little bit different. So this is not how your actual news story will be, but it's more to be to see uh, how the output could look like. Well, but what if I want to customize this? For instance, what if I want to have a newscast that's based on only a headline that summarizes each news event in like a short line? Uh, for that, you can create a custom model that you can later, after creating it, attach uh, this to your source. So we're going to do that now. We'll leave the source and go to the model section and uh, click add model. Now we're prompted to give this model a name, which is for internal use only. So we can choose any name we want. Uh, short headlines model would be a good name. Then we can select the model type. You can choose between news, weather, and traffic. Then the base model, and that's literally what it says. It's where the model, the model will be based on. So this actually doesn't care too much when we're going to set a lot of custom settings because it all will be overridden. But to be sure, we're just selecting the default uh, base model here. Then for the language, uh, this is pretty important because the AI is instructed to use this language in the stories that are going to be created from this model. So we leave it for now at English United Kingdom and we create the model. Now that the model is created, uh, we can also test the output from here, from the model form. Uh, let's see what it does without any setting. When I hit test here, the source is selected here, as you can see, and we're going to generate three new stories from this source into new stories that uh, are using this content model, how it's set right now. And as you can see here, these are the stories that are generated which uses the default settings of four sentences and 70 words. Okay, now we're going to customize this. We're starting by setting the desired word count and sentence count, as you can see here. For this example, the short headlines model, we need one sentence and let's say around 10 words. And we're going to hit save. And what's really important now is that you also create examples that uh, are implementing these settings because otherwise the AI will not understand how to use this setting of uh, one sentence and 10 words. Um, and by examples, we actually mean examples of new stories. You can add them here at the examples tab. And it's good to know that each example that you can create here by clicking add example needs to contain one news story. So it can be a little bit confusing. Some people are going to add a wall newscasts here. That's not how it's meant to be. Uh, you need to add uh, one news story to each example. And also good to know that examples are not only meant to implement the settings and tell the AI how to use the settings, but it's also a way to train the AI with your tone of voice. So even if uh, you have like the default settings of the default model, it can be useful to create a custom model that's based on the default model and add some examples of your own tone of voice. Uh, so 
you maybe already played with ChatGPT, and you know they have this thing there where you can say like, okay, I add this text, and now we write this text into the style of Stephen King. And well, that's exactly what this does. So it takes your examples and tells the AI to use these examples to determine the style of the outputted news story. So that's how the examples work. I've prepared some examples for this use case. So I'm going to add them now. You need to fill the newscast content here. You can leave the source content empty and the title is for external use only. So I'm going to add example one there. Important to enable each example, otherwise it will be not used. Uh, at example, example two, the newscast. Of course, these are just fictional headlines. Uh, if you're customizing your model for your local newscast, for example, uh, the best thing to do is use real news stories, maybe for from a manual newscast you wrote earlier, but it's, it's recommended to use real news stories. And the third example is recommended to use around three to six examples at max. You don't want to do too much. So three to six is more than enough. In this case, three is fine for me. Now go back to the model. And what we can do now is test again. And as you can see now, the output of this model is like how we want it to be with one sentence and ten around 10 words. And it uses the uh, examples we just added. You also see the custom script option here. Um, you could use this for some extra instructions to give to the AI, but to be honest, for just a new story model, it's not that useful. It can come in handy in case of creating a weather or a traffic model. Uh, for now, it's just fine. And the only thing we need to do now is go back to the source and attach the short headlines model to the source, hit save. So now every time a story is created from this source, it will be using uh, the content model. I've just attached the short headlines model.